what's going on my friends i am actually under the bed in the storage area if you can see there's the inverter and there's a big ass battery this thing's huge and it's 200 amp hours of solid power i'm actually doing some wiring here i've got to run just trying to you know i've got the main ground hooked up and no how no power will be hooked to this thing until i get uh all the essentials around it done i mean we're doing solar panels tomorrow but those aren't even going to get hooked into the renogy until i got power for the battery and the battery isolation up front which we'll run tomorrow tonight i just got to run the everything to that point and then what i will do is you know start putting power to everything after we get all that done and making sure we've got that done but I've kind of lost train of my thoughts. Sorry about that. I've been so busy with this stuff. Um, I just got to get this ring terminals on it. And then I've got little breakers in line. And as you see, there's my master breaker right there. But that's a 300 amp breaker. And it might be, it's a little bit more than recommended, but that's okay. I'm okay with 300. I mean, it's, I don't want it to be too small, but I don't want it to be too big either. And they don't recommend 100 amp breakers from the battery to the Renogy and from the Renogy to the battery. I think it's like 75, but 100 is fine. I mean, you just, you don't want to get too much over that if it gets too bad. And, and then again, I guess we'll find out what this upgraded alternator is pulling too. So don't think it needed to be more than 100 because it wasn't recommended when I read up on the Renogy. I was reading about the, just the range of where it needed to be. So, but anyway, uh, I, it just it seems like a lot, but it's not really a whole lot. It's just I've got to make sure I've got everything grounded. The battery's grounded. The energy's grounded. Ground everything. It's just a common ground, and I'll be fine. I mean, it'll all be good. The electrical is coming along. We get the electrical in this thing. We'll get the sink mounted down. It's already ready to go. I'll get that water pump hooked up, running a couple more cables for the AC. After we get all that done and the rest of the small parts of the trim, this thing's ready to go. Hopefully this weekend we'll have it done ready to go. So anyway, stay tuned on this one. Thank you so much for watching. Be cool.